In order for a chemical reaction to occur, there must be enough energy to break the bonds that hold the particles together in a molecule. The speed in which new particles form is called the rate of reaction. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Before a skateboard will move, energy must be applied, and this causes it to move. In a similar manner, a chemical reaction must also have a boost in energy in order to get the reaction to occur. This boost of energy is called the activation energy and is the least amount of energy needed in order to get the molecules to react. Think of a match. The match has all of the reactants it needs to burn. But you must strike the match, which provides friction, which causes heat, which provides the activation energy needed to start the reaction. So what are some of the factors that affect the rate of reaction? There are generally four factors that impact this rate of reaction. Temperature, concentration, surface area, and either an inhibitor or a catalyst. Let's look at temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the rate of reaction. As temperature rises, the particles of the reactants move more quickly, which causes the particles to collide more often and with greater energy so many reactants can change into particles in a short time. Concentration. In general, a higher concentration of reactants will cause a faster rate of reaction. Concentration is the measure of the amount of one substance dissolved into another. When concentration is high, the particles are close to each other, which increases how often the reactants collide and react more quickly. Surface area. Increasing the surface area of solid reactants increases the rate of reaction. A greater surface area exposes more of the reactants to each of the other reactants, thus increasing the rate of reaction. For example, if you grind a solid into a powder, this increases the surface area and speeds up the rate of reaction. An inhibitor is a substance that slows down the rate of reaction. There are generally three common types of inhibitors. A corrosive inhibitor, which in decreases the rate of the oxidation of metal. An enzyme inhibitor, which in chemistry and biology binds to an enzyme, lessening its activity. And a reaction inhibitor, which is any substance that decreases the rate of a chemical reaction. And finally, a catalyst is a substance that speeds up a reaction. It does this by lowering the activation energy of a reaction. Some enzymes in your body are catalysts and speed up chemical reactions. So there we go. I hope it was helpful. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.